Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Coup de Villa channel. I'm Scott Cooper, and it's been a minute, but we are back with our review of Aston Villa versus Chelsea on Boxing Day. Merry Christmas to you all. And we will be back with the review, our quiz, and some more COVID news, both in the Villa camp and in our camp, after this. Okay, so after the Burnley match was cancelled and we didn't get a podcast in last week either or a match, we are back to talk about uh, Villa versus Chelsea. But before we do that, we've got a bit of news and unfortunately it's not good news and I'm going to kick over to Noah to let the the viewers know what, what's been going on, Noah. Uh, well, as you can see, I'm in a different room. Uh, I'm currently self-isolating. I've done three rapid COVID tests over Christmas. So Christmas day, I started feeling a little bit poorly. Um, so I did a rapid test and came out positive. Did another one positive and then a bit of souvenir. Third one today, come back positive as well. So I'm pretty sure I got COVID, uh, which obviously yep. isn't a good sign, but I was waiting back for the proper results. And yeah, so a bit of fun, you know, living the dream. And COVID's definitely real for you. Any vaxxers out there can definitely confirm it's real. So yeah, yeah I know you've been feeling kind of rough, but you're coming coming out of it a little bit, feeling a little bit better today? Or still shit? Yeah, definitely today. Um, had a yeah. shocking headache, shocking headache for like three or four days that yep. really knocked me about. I've uh, just got a bit of a cough now. Um, and yeah, I had body aches as well, which were really weird. But besides that, yeah, I think I'm coming out of it. So I think if I do test positive, I've got to stay in isolation until 3rd of January. So yep. good fun. Oh, right, well, it's a good job we can still do the podcast because uh, it doesn't matter how exactly. close we are. Um, so yeah, uh, you weren't the only one with COVID, obviously. Steven Gerrard, Villa's manager got tested positive john mcginn as well looks like um was i'm not sure if he's got covid or if he had a sort of a close call or something like that but he was out of the match squad and um ashley we went young into, as well i think yeah he's got it has ashley he? young yeah yep. ashley young as well oh, he okay. wasn't in the squad at all mm. yep so a few changes going into the chelsea game and they had their issues as well with a lot of games recently and a few few players pulling out of the squad um but yeah, let's talk about the game, Tommy. Um, I thought I thought we started quite well. I thought the first first half was good, but sort of fell away in the second half quite a bit there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think silly penalty you can see just changed the dynamic. Um, I think we'll I wouldn't say all over him, but we we're definitely doing really well. Um, yeah. All things considering. I mean, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase. I mean, they whinge like, oh, we've got a depleted squad. I mean, you bring the Lukaku off the bench. They've still got so much money on that bench. It's ridiculous, yeah. yeah? And, and the only time that Lukaku's ever done anything is fucking against Villa. I don't feel like he's been pissed poor. He definitely hasn't delivered for his 100 million price tag. That's another thing. And again, mm. a really poor second half. Uh, I think a lot of things to expect. But I mean, you know, Gerard wasn't there and I'm sure he's yeah. orchestrating things in the background, but just not having his presence in that commanding presence most of all um you know just just uh, his wisdom on the sidelines just isn't the same um again silly foul to concede by cash it wasn't it wasn't necessary uh, another yeah. key talking point was probably i think we'll probably a sigh of relief when concert only saw yellow mm. um and boys fought their socks off it was pretty impressed with sans on uh, yep. i think general consensus is that he was worthy of at least one or two points i think most of us giving him one point anyway yeah. Um, so, I mean, there are still some positives to come out of that. And look, same as Liverpool, same as Man City, these teams are competing for the title. Um, so they're always going to have that extra gear in them. And I think when we learn to compete and also, you know, have that extra gear in us, that's when we'll be pushing a lot higher up. But still plenty of positives. But, you know, um, these are the... It's, it's a good sign because we're talking about Chelsea, a team that's won everything in the last decade, I think even half a decade, um, you know, and they're always challenging up the top and they're looking really good under Tuchel and he's just re-energised that club. So, again, I think we definitely dampened their mood, but I think they, they found their rhythm after a, you know, silly penalty that we conceded. I think mm. if we went in 1-0 at the half, I definitely would have been a lot more optimistic. Uh, I think the players would have too, but kind of just saw, you know, Cash's body language and just all the players' heads down. Um, surprised Emmy actually went the wrong way for once. 
He went he went the right way on the second one. Second but one. yeah, um first one kind of just leveled it up. Yeah, I agree with you that the, the the penalty obviously absolutely kills us. Uh I think before the penalty, um Chelsea really haven't uh had a chance. Um, you know, they had a fair bit of the ball, but they hadn't really created much. And and I agree with you with the with the half time thing. I mean, uh the second half under Gerard, we've seem to do a lot better. Yeah. You know, we've had a team talk and then come out in the second half and made a lot better. This was the first time where I saw a big drop off at halftime. So um, that's, that's disappointing. And Troy, uh, do you think, um, you know, not having Gerard there was maybe the, the key thing, really, the, the thing that brought Chelsea back into the game? Not really. No. Um, and I'm sorry I'm not getting excited about Gerard. I'm just cleaning my glasses. No, that's... <laughs> um, no, look, Gerard would have been watching it on a big screen television. He would have been uh, he would have been talking to the bench constantly. He would have been getting updates. He would have been he would have been communicating. Yeah. Um, you know, we've all we've all seen the the electronic gear around Villa's bench. It, it, um, he probably would have got a good view uh, from the television with with that perspective. I, neither here nor there. You know, if a player get if a manager gets sent up to the stands, he he, he can still run the game from there. Um, yeah. I thought it was an exceptional first half. I thought we were in it. I, I thought we contained Chelsea. Um, we let them have the ball in areas that weren't particularly uh, dangerous. We took care of their, their 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 front players. No problems at all. They were, they were really no massive threat um, to us. They were largely living in our pocket until, you know, I mean, Matty Cash, I, th- I thought, was brilliant for, you know, 89 minutes and 57 seconds. Yep. But unfortunately, three, two or three seconds of madness in the Premier League gets you punished, especially against a team like Chelsea. Um, mm. What was disappointing for me, two things, the, 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 the second half pretty much in its entirety, but we have a massive problem with the front two. I thought we had the composure to build from, build from the back. The back line have the confidence in the midfield and we were weaving some beautiful patterns. in there. I mean, this was an Iranian rug that we were really weaving here. They, they were fantastic. They had a good thread Absolutely. count. Absolutely. Really good thread count. Really good. I mean, these, these, yeah, these guys were unbelievable. And then we get to the final third, and it mm. seemed to me that Ollie Watkins has got the ball. I'm thinking, if I set up Ings and he scores, I'm dropped next week, so I ain't passing the ball. I Ings thought, I thought the in the first thing. half they had him, him like Ings, Ollie, and Buendia had a few good moments. Like they, they, there seemed to be a better link up than we've seen. Um, throughout the whole season in that first half, but then in the second half, yeah, it was it was poor. There was some good link up, but I mean, better than what we've seen in the past. But that's a very low bar. Yes, no, I agree with you. It's still not anywhere near the final product, and I think yeah. that that's probably going to be one of the last things that you know comes together. I think you know um, Gerard's put together a good uh, defensive shape. We've all seen that. The work rate's gone up a lot. We've all seen that. But things like little errors, silly errors, sloppy errors at the back, like Cash's penalty, like Ming's a few times, you know, on Lukaku got, you know, yeah. did silly things. Those kind of things are going to take a lot of time to get get you know, ironed out. And and so is the the, um, the chemistry between the front three. I think the, those are I the two I think it should be the other way around, Scott. I think it should be the other way around because we need to score. And then, you know, if there's going to be lapses in concentration that leads us to conceding, we're not going to keep clean sheets every game. You know, we're no. going to concede one or two. So we need to learn to score. You know, not other teams go one nil up and we're still struggling to find that one goal. And last thing we always want to be doing is, is chasing, you know, a point as opposed to, you know, building on, on a lead that we already have. But- I, th- I think that's a bit of a mentality thing though, Tommy, because I think that in that last 10 minutes, we started creating chances but was the problem, like 80 the, the, for that to happen exactly you know, like, like i think while while the game's level or we're winning the game we um we don't we haven't found a a good sort of level of attacking but not being you know careless you know like yeah I'm like it's got to be a consistent you know give us a good 70 minutes you know players fatigue a bit make subs you know insert a bit of energy into the into the lineup or if you want to park the bus well you, you make a defensive start but we need to be consistent for a good 70 80 minutes of the game not you know we oh, we started good against Chelsea then we dropped off and then every other week is oh we're level pecking at the half oh and then our second half was brilliant we're gonna be good from start to finish and I know it's easier said than done but you know mm-hmm. I mean that's why Gerard's brought in and 
it shouldn't be that hard. I know he, he wasn't afraid to drop inks um, or at least bench him consistently. And, you know, Ollie started to find a bit of form. And then I just feel like, well, why mix it up again? Obviously, the team was depleted a bit. Yeah, maybe it was because of that. I, um, I, I, I do think we missed McGinn, even though I think oh, the, three yeah. in mid, the three in midfield played well. Um, he's just got it there. It's just his energy and his engine. You know, yeah. you, you need that. And, and the character. Like, when, in yeah, those periods... 100%. In those periods where Chelsea were dominating the ball, he's the kind of guy that can just get a challenge in or win a header or keep the ball when we're under pressure, you know? So that was One of the big things I thought was missing is, if, and if you have a look at the Lukaku goal, just, just in the build-up before that, there seems to be a lack of leadership in the midfield, the, the lack of communication and a, and a lack of concentration. If you if you have a look, it was, I'm sure, Sanson, Sanson, Um got sucked in towards the ball and he was trying to protect Louise. I don't know why. Louise really wasn't in any difficulty. Chelsea spotted that, put the ball back out wide. This guy had a perfect a Chelsea player, uh, 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 I mean, three, four seconds to mm. put in the perfect cross. I don't know what was going through Mings' mind. I, I, that's just, I'm not even, well, I don't know. But I, that I cross think, should think... never have come in. If Sonson no. had said, you know what? Here's your problem. I'm going to stick to my man out here. That cross doesn't come in or it's not as perfect. No problems, no goal. I think that that's one area that we're getting a little bit confused. Is and it's 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 a very different system in that Gerard's trying to play. Is that those midfielders like um, whoever plays in front of Louise, like let's say it's Ramsey McGinn or if McGinn and Sampson was last night, they have to get out wide when we when their fullbacks get forward. So. Um, yeah, I think Sanson started it quite well and was good while he had energy, but then he faded in the second half a bit he did. and he did. Yeah, um, definitely did. wasn't doing that defensive job quite I think well enough. I think that's probably a lack of match fitness and game yeah. fitness anyway. But yeah. Yeah. funny enough, his last start was actually against Chelsea in the Cup, to my knowledge. Mm. Yeah, it was. Then he got the hammy yeah. injury. Yeah. And he didn't get injured, so that's good. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, we, don't, we don't know what happened when he was walking down the tunnel. <laughs> Anything could happen. Just getting out of bed this morning, you could have yeah. pulled a hammy knowing knowing Samson. <laughs> but um, no, we're, um, we did start well and we took the lead. Um, uh, I, you know, a quite a lucky goal, you know, uh, crossed my target, uh, flicked off the top of Reese James's head past Mandy. And at that point, I, I didn't think we'd lose the game. Like I, it, it seemed like we, they weren't creating, creating enough and we, sort of had that bit between our teeth that we could go on and get something. Unfortunately, the only positive result we got this weekend was your COVID test. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seems like that at the moment. Um, I think it was a pretty good header by Reese James. Uh, yeah. Top ins finish. <laughs> um, honestly, when that came in, I didn't know who it came off. It came through. That was yeah. like a rapid cross from Tyler. Well, it was off Reese James, I believe. Yeah, it yeah. was off James, but just had some pace on it. And as you said, we were the way we were controlling the game and like in the game, I don't think we we're going to lose it. Yeah, um, as well. And this against top tier talent, you know, talent as well. You know, yeah. job, you know, subpar lineups. That not. <laughs> You've muted yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably yeah. There you free. go. <laughs> no, um, you know, same against Liverpool, same against City. We're actually scoring and giving the big teams a run for their money. I, again, it may not be a full ninety minutes, but we're starting to, you know, rattle some strings, and I think mm. that's a massive step forward for us. We're not going to win the title. You know, sorry to piss on any fans' dreams that thought that this season or next season. But, you know, this is what we got to do. And these are the games where if we can get a lead and just got to learn to capitalise, whether that's scoring again, whether just that's just dictating the play, yep. that's where we need to build on. And, and you know, irrespective of squad selection, that I think we're doing a pretty good job. So, again, I know we slate sometimes and when we like to pick things apart, but I think we're heading in the right direction with Gerard. Um, yep. Um, coming back to... Go on. I was just going to say, going on from that point, I think Ramsey again, another quality game. So good. So, um, good. so, so consistent. Good. So consistent. Mm. The way he we runs into him. space, he just runs into space with the ball. Like the pockets just pages open up for him and no one knows what to do when he has the ball. He just on, needs that final product. If, if he can yeah. maintain that consistency and maybe add a couple goals to his bag, I mean, we can just be, what would his price tag be? Would we put him on, on par or just a little bit below Jude Bellingham? Because he's actually doing it in the Ooh, prep. It's not a tools, I think it's not he'd a tools be, race. I think he'd be below Bellingham at the moment. Would yeah. you think he'd be in the 40 to 50 mil mark? I think 30 to 40 with his potential, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. but I don't think that we have any reason to sell him. Like I don't. No, think no, just, well, I don't think he'd want to leave. To be honest, you're still no. just kissing the badge, and and you can again we can bring up Grealish again. It's not always greener on the other side, and there are frustrations beginning to grow. So I think next mm-hmm. time before fans boo him, let's just think maybe he might want a little holiday back at Villa Park. Mm-hmm. But Tommy, well, yep. but the and last uh, Villa fan that was kissing the badge and thought we did that he wasn't going to leave as well. So this is my club. Yeah. <laughs> let's not sna- slate the snake well you know but he had uh, exceptional game I mean he took the ball off um, he took the ball off Kante like like you know like yeah. Kante was a first year uh, you know, uh, he's, he's, know, you know he's, hungry, place, but... he's tenacious he's got he's got he's got you know bit of bit of aggression in him yeah and that's what we want you know for a young kid he's like no I'm I'm, I'm not a kid playing with them he goes no I'm, I'm, I'm one of the you know he, he wants his name to be one of the first on the sheet and, and he's confident like, as well. At one yeah. stage, he was Not ripping into time. some Chelsea player, which he wouldn't have done that even even two months ago. He just stood there and he just launched at this guy for, for going down. Quite when he gets up off as well, I think he's a little bit, you know, not he's throwing a fit, but he's pissed off. And, and you want that in your players, not someone who's content with, oh, you know, yeah, all right, go do your job now for 20 minutes. You should be pissed off if you're getting dragged off. And, you know, we know Ramsey's got a bit of talent, he's Arsenal. And, you know, maybe if, if we ever leave him on a bit longer and don't sub him off or just for future reference, and he might go on one of those wonder dribbles again. Yeah, so, so again, it's like just, he feels like he can be the difference that can get us back agreed, in the game. You know, and I think that's know? why he gets upset. Mm. He thinks, hang on, I'm the only midfielder that really wants to go for it. I'm not afraid to go take on three, four plays and actually he can pull it off now that we, he can he can do it in the final third. And to go to go on um, on what you're saying, Tommy, like the confidence is growing. And one one moment in the game that I thought encapsulated that was uh Jorginho gave the ball away in midfield once and he knocked the ball straight to Ramsey and Ramsey Jorginho had a five-yard start on him, and he just went past him. He, he just went past yeah. him. I saw that because he knew that you know I'm quicker than you, and 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 it's it's one thing to be fast, but it's also one thing to be fast while dribbling the ball. Yeah, and he's got that. He's got control. He he, he sees the gap and he goes and um and yeah, it's that, like, I find that's it funny big. sometimes. Like I, it, you're spot on, Scott. It's funny when you've got the ball and there's someone chasing you at full speed, and you're you're actually building a bit of a gap. I yeah. find that unreal. You know, especially with the ball. Song so Song kind of, isn't slow either. He did that a couple of times. No, he he's, 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 and he's, I feel like he's, he's he's big at the waist. He's got these like little Fred Flintstone steps, but he <laughs> takes them so quick yeah. and you don't realise. But there was no, a I, stage I as well that, that Buendia, who, who normally a stiff wind will knock him over, he got the ball just, just to the side of Lukaku. And I'm like, oh, this is just going to be a demolition here. Yeah. And he just he just ghosted past him, and he didn't get knocked off the ball. And I, you know what? So his his game's coming on as well. Mm. The midfield was was good. They seem to be working. I I, th- I think there's a quality of understanding. Our, our problem is in the finals. That will do you think Gerard will persevere with with the, with the two up front? If he does, he's mental to me. One of the front two has to get dropped next week for 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 a run from again. Assuming he's fit, because that was just the an abortion. Ings, do we go with Oli? Again, I think Oli's going to be the golden boy up front for a little while, Troy. And, and I think Ings, just purely based on age, and he'd probably be easier to ship because he can slot into any lineup. I think Oli wouldn't. I think it will be Oli, but... Um, I feel for Ings. I feel I, for Ings. Yeah. Yeah. He really, he really carried the club, you know, the first couple of games while Oli was missing. And, you know, I thought, oh, wow, you know, we've got a brutal strike force building here, and it's just, it's just not working, sadly. Oli works the defence off the ball. When he doesn't have the ball, he's, he's tireless. He's a big problem with defence. Ollie's biggest problem is when he his does skill have set. the ball. His skill yeah. set and his decision-making. He's exactly. said it before. It's poor. It's I shocking. Said, he's, look, you've got to be selfish as a striker, mm. but uh, there's times I'm like, mate, there's a time I think... One of the there was games, a time he should have given it to Buendia. Bailey, Bailey or Buendia. Yeah, I'm like, mate, he's like three, two yards of space. Like, that's where you got to start playing the team card. What's like... But then again, it's like, well, why are you not even giving it to Buendia? You're not going to get dropped if you bag an assist, man. No. You know, like two assists as a, as a four. I don't care if they're to Ings and Buendia, mate. Like, you've done your part. Yeah. It's, but, yeah, there's so many times where he'll dribble. And then mm. I'd love to see how many times shot go into, like, defenders' legs. It's like, why are you even firing a shot, Oli? It's just stupid. There, there is a positive, though, I think, from playing him on that wide left position and That's Ings it. through the middle. And that is that Oli's got pace. Right, so there was one time I think it was Buendia knocked it through, and and Ollie sort of got slipped in on that in yeah, that channel, that. Um, and the ball was just a bit poor. I think he's left. Yeah, effort. But, yeah, that one. But um, you know that that's something that maybe uh, other wingers don't really have, apart from Bailey, perhaps like that that raw pace. 
You know, we've got tricky wingers, we've got intelligent players, you know, but with you know, someone with absolute just raw pace like a like a Rockins or a Bailey, that you know, with the counter attacking style we're trying to play, you know, that can become a real asset. But I think he'll play Ollie through the middle and yeah, like you said, bring McGinn in and maybe push Ramsey back up into one of those front three positions. See, I'm not convinced by either of them, but you look at our bench and, and Chelsea's bench. They had Lukaku. We had, uh, who, who did we have? Um, well, we had Kate, Kate, I think Davis was the striker Davis. on the bench. Yeah. And there's, yeah. there sums up the difference between the two sides there, isn't it? Okay. Well, and, and that's what I said. You know, money invested in the squad. That being said, we will invest, but you know, where we are right now, sometimes we've got to really give ourselves a pat on the back. We've, We've, yeah. we've come out of the danger zone, you know, pre Gerard, and, and all of a sudden now, you know, again, it, it, it does make me laugh sometimes. I'm like, Chelsea are bitching about, oh, you know, look, you know, got a depleted squad. I'm like, add your value up, add ours, yeah. compare the pair. That's it. And we've lost to Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea. Um, and, and, then, yeah. and it's like, you know, there's so many, po- it's funny we're picking out negatives out of the, these top three teams. You know, mm. we're not saying, oh, we've got demolished, you know, we'll bring it up in next week. It's only a, Five minute, you know, talking segment on on Villa, but it's like, hang on, we we done really well, and we again, have. but it's just got to be a solid seventy minutes plus eighty minutes, and, whatever. And I is. think it just shows how far we've come that we're a little bit disappointed because yeah. we felt we felt like we could have got something in that game because we were in a great position. If Cash doesn't do that tackle, we go we go one nil in uh, one nil up at halftime, and you know, then it could be a totally different game. But it's not to be. Um, but uh, we'll. I think look- some results went our way as well, to my knowledge. I think mm. West Ham they lost to Southampton and a few others. So Leicester again, I don't, well. I don't, I don't mind yeah. those top couple, you know, building their lead. That's fine, and it's just us pushing up. I think if we can get in the eight, I think that'd be, you know, pretty. Realistic. That'd be a great that'd season. It would be a great season. I think it'd be fantastic. And mm. yeah, Smith, like I say, this is all Gerard's work. If, if we can get in the eight, you take all the credit. And well, I got Gerard- a, fe- I got a feeling we might do a cup run as well. Just got to. I've got a feeling that Gerard's going to put strong teams out in the FA Cup. I think so. I think so. I think we've I, got some quality. You know, if, if tra- well, who could we play in the cup that's on the bench? Traore, if Bay, Chocolate Bay maker. back, Chuckle Maker, El Ghazi. I mean, that's some decent talent to come. And we, and we, we, we got an easy draw. We got Man United. So, you know, <laughs> let's bring it on. Um, all right. So, well, we'll, uh, we'll move. We, we, uh, we, we can't really do predictions because. The Leeds match has been called off. Do for uh, Brentford then. Do for Brentford. Do for Brentford. I think that is a severe banana skin at the moment. Gerard is what uh, three wins, three losses. Yep. And no, he's no, he's four wins, three losses. Four wins, three losses. Yes. Okay. And he's well, the only three losses against the, the, the Chelsea, the, Liverpool, Man City. I think they're you know you expect again, to lose I'm, those. Not, but yeah. are we going to have a full strength defense against Brentford? I don't know what the yellow card Tyro, situation is. Tyro Mings is out. He's that's out. that's a this is a potential banana skin, and if we lose this, I, I think there's going to be some serious questions asked. It'll be a tough game, but I think you know I think we'll bounce back. I, I predict us to two one maybe win that yeah, one. But I, I think it might be a I think two nil uh, at home away. I think no, it's, it's away. away. It's away. Yeah. I'd go, I mean, it I'd all go, depends go who's nil. fit and who doesn't have COVID. It's very yeah. I mean, yeah, you can't really you, tell. When they, return, when they return back, it's still, you know, your lungs getting back to full capacity. You're still mm. about two, three weeks away. We realised that last year, remember, the lockdown and COVID for the players, and then we just struggled. We never picked our form up again. Yeah. No, I think I think 2-1. Ivan Tony will score for Brentford from the penalty spot. Um, and I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it'll be an Ollie double. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Ollie will score, and I'm going to go with a Esri Konza header. Okay. So two nil, you're saying? Are we sure? Are we sure Konza's playing? No, Konza thought... can play. Mings can't play. Okay, I thought Konza had uh, topped up his maximum number of yellows. No. No, that was Tyrone. That was Tyrone. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm pretty well, sure. I'm pretty sure. I think it's time for the Coupe de Villa quiz. Oh, Ooh, what do you guys think? Yeah. And, and this one will be to take the lead because we're it all was. one apiece. The, uh, That's overall... my brilliant performance last week. That's right. The overall score is 1-1-1. One, one, one. You guys are all level. So, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that. And, you know, comment on the video. Let us know how you go on the quiz. And let us know if, you know, if you're liking the quiz, if you want to see more of it. But I know Troy Definitely doesn't like it. But... More of it. 
Yeah. And don't and don't comment on my uh, chocolate maker. That was that was not a racist remark. Um, <laughs> we were talking about him last week, and the subtitles, the YouTube subtitles, auto correct the chocolate maker, the chocolate maker, which I thought oh, God. was rather amusing. He should be goal maker. I like I like that button better. All right. Oh, I like that better too. All right, okay, let's so with. let's get on with it. Right. Okay. So because Noah's on the top of my screen, you can go first. This is to see who goes first. All right. Okay. Ashley Young became Villa's all-time Premier League assist maker this season. How many assists does he have all up for Villa? Noah, to, oh. Noah, then Tommy, then Troy, to guess. Give me a number. 39. 39? 46. 46? 38. 38. Okay, so it goes Noah, Troy, Tommy, because it what? is 41. I what? Oh, right. How do you even? I would not have I, I just went for the lowest number. You're a freak. Start. I saw a start, and I think he overtook Gareth Barry. Um, and our no, he overtook assists. Gabby Abunglahor. Yeah, oh, stuck at oh, was it? Google ain't yeah. gonna oh, tell you yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Noah, you're first Check up. Yeah. One to fifteen. You know the rules. Uh, Three bonus I'll questions. Go five. Go five. Fuck off. That's my if number. you. <laughs> If you get the answer wrong and you go for the three points, someone can steal. Just if anyone has... I'll just, uh, I'll just turn on my mood lighting, by the way. Getting the, oh, getting look at that. I, I, I know we haven't oh. done it, but just a quick just a quick shout out to Coxie. We always love oh, Coxie's Coxie. Oh, Coxie. Yeah. Mate, he actually... Yeah, I think Troy responded. He goes, it'd be great to see if we can get Scott in the uh, Santa hat. So there you go. That's it. That's see, I got my bar humbug, yeah. so yeah. I am playing uh, Ebenezer Scrooge or whoever. Um... Coxie's been since day one. I know. And Nothing. you don't want to, no shout outs to any electricians this week, Tommy? Um, uh, no, Tambo's any... on, <laughs> on, on some Tambo's on annual leave. But oh, Ian, okay. a cash job. There's always time, guys. Look, he, he'll be able to fit you oh, in if, if the money's out. right. Fisher Electrics, mate. <laughs> Fisher has been on the phone. Fisher Electrics, the old man. The old man. So you, you said number five, right, Tommy? I mean, uh, Noah? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Tommy's okay. number. Yep. Okay, who has the most red cards for Aston Villa in Premier League history? Gareth Barry. You're going for it? Yeah, going for it. Okay, that's incorrect. So that means that Troy can steal first if he wants. Can I get options? You can get options. Give me the options. Okay, the options are Gareth Barry, (laughs) Kieran Clark, Andy Townsend, and Lee Hendry. Oh, Lee Hendry was a bit of a prick. So I'll go with him. And that is correct for one point. Lee Hendry got wow. four red cards. No, uh, all that time in your room, and you couldn't do a bit of research, mate. Yeah, that's, Barry. that's one point. So I think Gareth Barry is the most carded player in the Premier League. That's why I went for that. Was he really? Yeah. Well, he's played yeah. enough, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Troy, you've got a point, and it's your go. So that was a good little steal. Yeah, 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 one nil up, and that's the end of the show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> All right, uh, one number. Number one, please. Number Scotty. one. Okay. All the easy questions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who is Aston Villa's shortest player in Premier League history ever? Uh the left back, and I can't. I can see him. I can't think of his name. The left back. Left back. What's his name? What's his name, Troy? <laughs> You're trying to get yes. him to say the wrong name. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going through the alphabet. Um, oh, there are options available if you need a bit of a help. Um, do, you remember, do you remember what era he played in? Because I'm actually curious if I know it or not. But I look, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I I I'd just keep quiet until he's, he's nineties. I'm sure his name starts with A. I'm stuck on it. Go on. What are you? Nah, nah, the options. Not, not, you want the options? Yeah. Okay, the options are Emmy Buendia, Alan Wright, Stop, right, yeah, Steve Stone, yeah. Steve Davis. Righty. Is correct for one point. Alan Wright, five think of it. foot four. Wow. He but he could jump like Michael Jordan. Yep, he was one of the <laughs> one of the shortest in Premier League history, not just Villa history. Yeah. Um, all right, so two points for Troy, and we're on to Tommy. Number 10. I'll say Paul, because I'm not my natural habitat. I'm in a different room. So. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, number 10. Who did Villa beat in the 1982 European Cup semi final? Oh. After a 1 0 win at Villa Park <laughs> and a 0 0 draw away from home. There are options available. He heard you... European Cup and he got really excited. <laughs> got really... Well, it's a major tournament. It was a pretty tournament. it was a pretty big game for the club, you know. Our first I know, Cox, I know Cox are gonna say you should know this shit, Tom. <laughs> and I don't, and I don't know it. I'm like ripping to me in the comments, and it was your mistake. Yeah, that's right. He he said that he I need said, to do my research. <laughs> he said, No, you need to do your research. You know, I, it wasn't even my question. <laughs> I just kept quiet. I'm like, hang on. So are you gonna take the options? Yeah, we'll do the options, Scott. Okay. The options are Dynamo Kiev and Elect, Benfica, and Club Bruges. So I said Dynamo and Dynamo Bruges. Kiev and yeah, Elect. Elect Benfica. Benfica why, 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 would you put, why would you put two Belgian teams in there, though? That's the one that makes me curious. That's why. Because you put all... No, it's, over no, it's, it's a very Wikipedia. random league to put two teams from. <laughs> I wish I was. I it is, it is a bit of a random league to put two teams from. Not this bad boy. Rock, 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 could and that I know, mean? And, 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 yeah, I know Anderlecht have always been the better one out of the two, but Club Bruges are pretty good. Which one's on the Black Sea, Tommy? <laughs> well, Club Bruges actually has black, and that's where we signed Wesley from. That's where we also signed Samata from, or someone else we signed from Club Bruges. Nakamba? Benteke. Nakamba. So hmm. They've clearly Great got Adelaide. talent, but I'm going to go with Anderlecht. Correct. Correct. One point. Yes! And the is right. Yes, we beat them. <laughs> oh, Tom's picking up on the little cues, don't you? Well worry. done. I think so, Tommy's learned to type with his toes. <laughs> <laughs> My left foot. <laughs> What's that, Timmy? Uh, <laughs> Gotta let these bad boys breathe. <laughs> okay, door. so we are through one round. The score is Noah on zero, Troy on two, Tommy on one, and we're back to oh, Noah. Okay. One, five, and ten are gone. Um, legs 11. 11. He loves his legs 11. Look at him yes. go. He's back it. in his comfort zone. I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm really... In the 2012-2013 season, Aston Villa won the Next Gen Series, which was a European Cup for under-19s. Yeah. Who did Aston Villa beat 2-0 in the final? Oh, fuck. Um, I'll take the options, please. Okay, the options are Sporting Lisbon, Arsenal, Juventus, or Chelsea. I think it was Chelsea. Is that your final answer? Yeah, look, I'm probably wrong. I think probably going to be Sporting Lisbon, but I'll go. And Chelsea. you're on the board. Yeah. One point. It was Chelsea. Two nil. Two goals from Burke. If we run back, yeah, yeah, absolutely. There do. you go. He's playing well, in like League Two these days, I think. I'm maybe in Ireland. I know he's an Irish boy. Yeah, he's an Irish boy. So re- re- research it for me. Research of course, you'd know that. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to research it. I'm going to research it. So, Troy's on, uh, Noah's on the board, and we're back to Troy, who's in the lead with two and can extend his lead. Just like he's extending his penis. He plays for Shamrock Rovers. <laughs> there you go. Good old smart. Crazy. You're a freak. He's a freak. <laughs> he knows he knows some stuff. Right. So Troy, come on, give us a number. Uh number two. Has number two been taken? Not two. No, no, it I'll hasn't. Just, I'll go in order. Number two. Number two. Okay. Number. I'm trying to sort my earphones out. Emmy Martinez, since joining Aston Villa from Arsenal, has played fifty-four times for Aston Villa. How many clean sheets does he have? How many times you play? Well. Fifty-four times. Oh. <laughs> Why don't I get this question? Well, you got yours right. I know, but I know this one. Oh, dogs no, are... I get to steal. Not even you know. Your dogs are barking, mate. Yeah, the dogs are barking. They're going off. They're, they're on heat. They're like Scotty. Wait, Scotty. <laughs> um, he's played forty-two. 54. 50, 50, where did I get 42 from? I don't 54. Know. That's, that's called dementia. <laughs> you old prick. <laughs> um, I remember every two games. <laughs> One of the best goalkeeper records of all time. 22. 
Okay, it's not correct. So oh, Tommy can steal. So get it wrong, Tommy. No, but you don't get to steal if I get it wrong. Yes, he does. Yes, he oh, does. then I'll take the options. Oh, what right? Yeah. Okay, the yeah, options are. Yeah, we changed that rule after round the second quiz. That there goes. It can. Everyone can steal now, and then until it gets back to the original. So no one can steal on the options. No, you can't. Not when he goes to options. So the options are 17, 18, 19, or 20. I think. It's, no, it's 20. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah. So no points on that one for anyone. Sorry, and no one. Actually, that was, but Tommy, good news is it's your he question. Got, he, got the, the, he got the prison. For us, like clean sheets wise, which was seventeen, I think. Yeah. So yeah, that's so why I think he's only kept about two or three under Gerard. I think. No, it three, was fifteen. Mate. I think fifteen. Last season was the record. Oh, was it? There but, you go. I, I can't remember, but he's got twenty. So, Tommy, what number? Um, go number twelve, please. Number twelve. <laughs> which Aston Villa player had his birthday recently on Christmas Day? Oh, God. Ah, a festive question. Ah, hmm. yes, the Argentine himself, to my knowledge, is it Emmy Buendia? Yes, it, it is, is Emmy Buendia. Yes. For three points. A well new done. thing on Facebook would get me somewhere. <laughs> so yes, it's... and he's taken the lead. Tommy goes to four point. points, and after two rounds, Fuck. we are Noah's on one, Troy's on I'm, two, Tommy's on four. I'm like, was it recent? It was recent. Brought it was the other day. We're already down one. Okay, but no one's had a, a um, no one's gone for a bonus question, question yet, which is interesting. So uh, yeah. still plenty of points out there, and Noah it is back to you. I'm going to take Thomas. choice tactic. I'm going to go three. He's going low. He's going three. Okay. In 1977, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, that's why Troy goes to the lower ones. He would, he would probably, have been licking his lips. Exactly. He would have been, been 31 at that year. Uh, no, <laughs> my, my first Villa game was in 1977. Oh, wow. Okay. In 1977, Aston Villa reached the League Cup final versus Everton. How many replays were needed to find a winner? I'll say the options. The options are none, one, two, or three. I'll go two. Fuck it. And it's correct. Two for one point. Yeah. It was nil-nil, one-one, and then we beat them three-two in the third game, I think. And this one has a bonus question. So you got that right, so you get the bonus. And the bonus question is, which ground was the second replay played in? Second replay. Let's just go. Let's just go Villa Park. I don't know. It's incorrect. It was Old Trafford. Oh, I yeah. can't steal that. No, you can't no, steal bonus. Bonus. It was a bonus. He got it right. It was a bonus. Unfortunately, but that's the loophole, Troy. If you ever get to steal, so if no one gets it wrong, just take the bonus because then I can't jump you. Yeah. Yeah, but then I, but, you know it's it's kind of a risk reward. If you go for three points, you know you, there's more points on offer. Oh, so it's well, a bit that's of a, what I mean. Like if you're not 100 yeah. confident. Yeah. No. Tommy That's talking it. about jumping me while he's got balls in his mouth. All right, Troy, you're, you're up. So For those of you listening on Spotify, I think you want the fuck. <laughs> so Troy, do you, want, do you want number four, the next in order? Yes, please. Let's go. Okay. Which Aston Villa player has the most passes this season in the Premier League? Which Aston Villa has with which Aston Villa player has the most passes this season in the Premier League? Any options? The options Please. are Tyrone Mings, John McGinn, Douglas Louise, or Ezri Conta. You know, my first thought actually was McGinn, but then the ball gets knocked around the back so much. So I'll say, um, yeah, I'll go Mings. And Mings is correct with 682 wow. passes. I would not have thought that. Good, good, good one, Troy. Because you know, because we kick it out every time. Yeah, yeah. How many did uh, 
who was the next best? I Louise? think uh, I can't remember. I think it might have been McGinn. McGinn, yeah, I thought McGinn, but no, I couldn't yeah. think of Louise because I know he but, loves to knock it around. But Mings was quite far ahead of the others, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Purely because they doss around with it at the back. I didn't. Well, watch same, that. My first thought was a midfield player. Same fucking seventy percent of the opposition. <laughs> All right, Tommy, it's up to you. You have a four to three to two lead. You're on four. Troy's on three. Um, Troy's on two. You've got a question to go in this round. I'm going to go. Six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15. I go number six, please. Number six. Okay, this is a, this is a bit of a different one. So I'll just listen. Uh, in the year 2000, Aston Villa reached the last FA Cup final at the Old Wembley. So for three points, you got three different questions, one point each. Who did they play? What was the score? And who scored the winning goal? So, so if you only get one of them, right? That's, so you're going to give me your answer, right? Now, let's say you only get two of the three. I'm not going to tell you if you're right or wrong. I'm just going to say opportunity to steal. Because Is that for all three or for the for the one? People like can – if you get two right, you'll get the two points, but they can still they can still steal that last one. Can I take options for each question? You what, can, what take, you can take options. You can take options and then it just – it's just you. This is yeah. so boring. That this is, is so awesome. boring. What are the questions? Wait. So does that mean oh. I could take the options for each of the three? So there's no, 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 no. It's like you've got to give me three answers. What are the and what are the what are the questions the, again? The questions are: the year two thousand, we reached the cup final. It was at the old Wembley, last cup final, the old Wembley. Who did we play? Right. What was the score? Right. And who scored the winning goal? I know. I I know. I know who we played, and I think. Well, I know it's, the score. it's not. I'm it's, not this... it's not on you. I know on... that. I'm saying he's gonna ruin it by taking the options. Like it's gonna be no fun. Well, he he doesn't have to. He can go does for that, it. Does, that, does that mean? But the options mean? Does that mean I get I get the options for each of the? Yes, three I'll give you the options for all three yeah, four well, times. Of course, of course okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay. That'd be stupid. But you only get one point if you get it right. Now you realize uh, you, with the options, you can't yeah, get okay. three points. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's okay. Good. So you're taking the options. Okay. The options are lost two one to Chelsea, Gianfranco Zola. Lost two one to Arsenal, Ian Wright. Lost 1-0 to Chelsea, Roberto Di Matteo. Lost 1-0 to Arsenal, Mark Overmars. Uh, so Arsenal or Chelsea. Mm. Um, I think this is... You're a rocket scientist, mate. Getting that straight. The Chelsea with Zola? Is incorrect. It was Chelsea with Di Matteo. Oh. Our former manager. So no points to Tommy there. And um, that one, number six, off the board, and we are Damn back. It. So it's still tight, two, three, uh, four, with two rounds to go. And we're up to Noah. Give us a number, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15. Uh, we'll go Bikino Faso, 15, please. <laughs> is that the Bikino Faso number, is it? Yeah, it's Virgin Trio Race number. Nice, nice. Okay. In 2015-2016, the year of our relegation, Aston Villa bought which player from Lorient in League 1 for 12 million euros? League 1. I know we bought a few players. We bought a few players. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Jordan Veratu. Oh, no, you're no, you're no, going for it? Nets. No, he came from Lorient. What's the address of going to gay? Because I know we bought a Marvi. From Lille, he came from Lille, and we bought Veratu <laughs> in the same Ver- team that bloke that went uh. signed for. Car- I must have lagged Veratu. Yeah, he you lagged the same bit. team that that yeah. bloke, the boat that went down to Cardiff for Sally passed away. He went to that team. I think it might be Nance, and then it, unless it's gonna get, it must be. Is it- there are options available if you want. I'll take the options. But all three of them are going to be the options. That's the okay. Thing. The options are Jordan Ayu, Jordan Amavi. Jordan Vertu or Adresa Gay? It's Jordan, it's Jordan Amavi. Oh, sorry. Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu. That's your answer? Yes. Final answer is Jordan Ayu? I think it is, yeah. Correct. Yeah, think, For one point. Yeah, I think it's Jordan Ayu. 
Well done. Yeah. Googling this. I forgot about him. <laughs> You've got to put your hands in the air. I can play No, I don't think he Googled it. He, he talked it through pretty well. We did he get literally, right no, no, he literally went from fair to uh, uh, nah, game, I completely, and then I, AU was a last minute swerve. Bullshit. I completely forgot about AU. I completely forgot about AU. Yeah, I did too. AU. I'm not going to lie. And also, I'm happy, yeah. I believe, we didn't sign from Lille. He came from Marseille, then he went yeah. back there. Jordan are you the most miserable looking fucker that I've ever played no, for? Jordan, Jordan Amavi from Lille first. No, no, he, he was, was he was he was Marseille, dude, and then he went back, or he was Leon. No, he doesn't wasn't. matter. He was he wasn't from Lorient, that's for sure. Okay, I am so, flexing. I am flexing my muscles, mate. I'm telling you. All right, so uh, Troy, he Troy, nice. you're up. He's from he was from Nice. Take that back. Seven, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, seven, please. He's going with the low numbers again, and seven. No, it what is. do you want? Three. Right. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Aston Villa going back to the 16th of October 05 are on their best second city derby streak ever. How many games is it without losing to Birmingham, to Birmingham City in all competitions? What? Well, in, in, in all of history? Or... No, it's, it's our best run ever. The last time they beat us was the 16th of October 05. How many games is it since they beat us? Uh, I'll, oh, I can have options, can I? You can. Go on, then. The options are 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. 12, 13, 14, 15. I was thinking single digits, so there goes my steal. I was too. I was thinking like seven or eight. I thought eight, yeah. We did have a few seasons in the championship there and a few times we drew them in the cup. And Okay, what are things. the options? 12, 13, 14, 15, you said? That's it. They're the four options. I'll go 12. It's unfortunately 14. Yeah, I was going to say, I yeah. thought it was an of even Of course you were going to say, because you're on which Because we, we played him in the cup, so that might evened out. to Because we played him in the last game of the season and then we played him in the cup, so it evened out to an even number. I remember the first year they came up, and this is the bias of commentators. The first year they came up, they hadn't been in the Premier League for the longest time. Commentators like an Aston Villa who haven't beaten Birmingham City in 16 years. We haven't fucking played them in 16 years. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is a lot of that goes on. Um, there was a lot of that when we got promoted for the first time. Like, oh, Aston Villa have lost their last 10 in the Premier League. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure like eight of them were four years ago, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so Tommy, you round out this round, second last round. You still in the lead, so you can really extend number that lead here. Number six. I'm gonna go with number nine this time. He can't lose now, can he? He can lose. Oh. He can lose. He's only one ahead of you two. Oh. Shut up. Number nine. Okay, number nine. <laughs> in 2008, Aston Villa qualified for the Europa League and had a famous victory at Villa Park against which former European champion? One of the last really big nights at Villa Park, European oh, nights. I even know the goal scorer that scored. <laughs> it was 2008. 2008. That's like the Bon La Hall era. I'll take the options. The oh, options man. are Juventus, Inter Milan, Ajax, or Porto? <sighs> well, no, it's Juventus or Ajax, 100%. And Noah just jumped when I said Juventus. But I don't think we we're, we're, I don't think we're quality enough to draw Juventus. I think Ajax is a little bit more achievable. What was this? What was this competition? Europa, Europa League. League. In 08. Who was it? Juventus, Ajax, Inter or Porto? Juventus, Inter Milan, Ajax or Porto. Mm, two Italian teams in there all of a sudden, which <laughs> make me laugh. Last time there was two Belgian teams in there, and uh... was, it, was it Juventus? Is that your answer? No. No, it's... no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's it's... not. <laughs> what are you doing? Answer. It's not my answer, actually. All right, fine. <laughs> That's your fault, Noah. What's your answer? Well, I mean, I was leaning by it, but now that there's that other Italian team called into Milan. I'm going to need an answer. Come on. Into, into Milan? It's Ajax. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gareth, Gareth, Gareth Barry and Larson scored. 
Correct. No, I don't have it in your mouth. <laughs> you still got it wrong, mate. Yeah, you mate. still suck. <laughs> you still <laughs> suck. I can't bring it to two and I guess the wrong one. How can oh. I guess a fucking Belgium team but not playing? <laughs> well, for, for the neutrals, that was good that you got that wrong because going into the last round, it's three to Noah, three to Troy, four to Tommy, and I'm pretty sure there are bonus questions available. So, Noah, eight, 13, or 14? Uh, I'll go I'll go eight. Yes, the one with no bonuses. Morgan, Morgan okay. Sanson. Okay, number eight. Ollie Watkins has had the most shots for Villa this season in the Premier League with 33. You, you Tom, lag for me. You lag for me. Sorry, what'd you say? Sorry. Bad luck. Uh, bad luck if you can't fix your own connection. He said Danny Ings was signed for a record transfer fee. How much? Okay, listen now. Come on. Okay. Uh, Ollie Watkins has the most shots for Villa this season in the Premier League with 33. John McGinn is second with 21. Who is third? I'm going to have to take a stab because I, I really want to win. Mm. But I also know I can tie it up and potentially steal. I'll go through. So I'm thinking Buendia, but I also don't know if he's had that many shots. I don't think Danny Ings. It might be. Look, I'll, I'll take the options. I'll take the options. Okay, the options are Matty Cash, Jacob Ramsey, Emiliano Buendia and Danny Ings. Fuck. I was hoping one of them wouldn't be there. <laughs> Matty Cash does have a lot of shots, but I don't think he has that much. Like, I think it. Danny Ings has also missed a lot of football. I'm going to go Buendia. I'm going to go Buendia. Uh, unfortunately, it's Matty Cash. Really? With 18. So wow. The few, man. Always he, cutting he, in and scoring him with his left foot. He, he scored one goal this season. I know. He, always, he always has a swing. What happened to the steal? I got the two options. of the options. I thought we could still oh steal God. an option. No, I know you can't. We haven't. We never. Oh my God! Wait, that means the last two are bonuses. Um, this has only been one. I have to be. Yeah, they have to be. Oh Scotty, Scotty's forgot go the bonus question. No, no, no. You're right. They both have bonuses. Oh. Thirteen and fourteen both have bonuses. So which one you taking, Troy? Uh, fourteen. My birthday, please. Okay, fourteen. That's cute. That's cute. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> Okay, in the 1992-1993 Premier League season, Daly and Atkinson scored match of the day's goal of the season after a long solo run finished off with a delicate chip. Yeah. Who was is the it, goal against? The... Oh, I thought you were going to ask what did he hold above his head for the, for the bonus question. And I've just given away the fucking bonus question, <laughs> haven't I? Well, it doesn't matter. No one else can get the bonus question, if that is, even is the bonus question. But... Who was the? Who I did know beat? as well. I know. I can see his run. I can see his run. Can you say who he's versing? That helps. Read their shirt. What? Don't, <laughs> don't listen. <laughs> yeah, look at the screen, you prick. In 1992 93 Premier League. Season. Know, Daily Maxon scored the match of the day, goal of the yeah, season yeah, after yeah. a long run, finished off with a delicate chip. Who was the goal against? I'm sweating buckets, by the way. It's I been 40, it, Scott. it's been 42 degrees three days in a row in Perth here. <laughs> it is so hot. I'm taking this hat off. <laughs> My bar humbug's been I'm also saying like your mouth looks sweaty. I'm like, oh, I am sweaty. I am actually Dude. sweaty. I've got the light on me. Are you giving him more time? Can we call it? Yeah, that? okay. Come on. I'm going to need an answer. Are you, give, me, mean, give, me, give me the options. The, okay. The options are Fulham, Crystal Palace, Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Oh. Yeah, you fucking prick. Okay. Wimbledon yeah. is your answer. That is correct for a point. And there is a bonus <laughs> question. And the bonus question is. It's the umbrella. When Atkinson scores, a fan <laughs> comes onto the pitch from the away end to celebrate with Atkinson. What is the fan holding in his hand? An umbrella. An umbrella, correct. One point. Well done. So he's got oh, a five. Oh, this is sweaty stuff. He's got a five. And that leaves. This was the same as the Alan Wright question. The answer was on the tip of my tongue. And I'm pissed off when and, I took the options. And that leaves Tommy with um, question number 13. 13. Okay. And you need one point to tie. Please, if I'm going to ever predict a question, can it please be 
which who was the first Villa player to represent their team at a World Cup? <laughs> you know that one, do you? Because we talked about that the other way. And, 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 like... and I know what country. <laughs> Well, I don't even know that. I think that's right. Oh, I need to check. But Let me get a score check. Sorry, I missed it. The score check is you're winning with five. Five, four, three. Yes. Oh. With one question to go. So it's all on Tommy. He needs one to win. No, one, one to, to draw, two, two to win. Poor COVID, Noah. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> um, righto. 13. Here we go. Okay. With, up, Tommy. Okay, up. okay. Okay. Tommy, with the ashes on at the moment. Which England squad member is a huge Aston Villa fan? I hate myself so much. <laughs> but I need the options. I, I don't absolutely even know hate myself. Cricket. I've been handicapped here. Okay, the options are... This bullshit. Mark Wood, Chris Wokes, Rory Burns, or Dom Bess? Which one is a Villa fan? Which one is a Villa fan? I was fan? thinking I was retired. Yeah, Wait, I know. Na- na- names again? That will be Mark, the Mark question. Wood, Mark Wood, Chris Wokes, Rory Burns, or Don Bess? I think you might have won here, Troy. I know nothing about, and I don't even have a <laughs> question. I'm just yeah. thinking, why didn't I, was, I get that bloody IX one? Hang on, if he if Noah gets this and gets the bonus question, can he still win or not? Nah, because he's he's taking the options. Yeah, he's taking the options. I did take the options. Fuck, I was going to say, I could have just let it go. You don't have big enough balls for that, mate. Warming Michael, up. Chris Burns. The dad dance is warming up. And Don, Don Pike. What's the guy's name? The last it's, Mark Wood, <laughs> it's Mark Wood, Chris Wokes, Rory Burns, and Don Bess. Don Bess. Can't be that guy. Sounds like a dickhead. He's going to say Don Burke. <laughs> Mark Wood, Chris Burns. Mark Wood, Chris Wokes, Rory Burns, this Don Bess. Answer. Answer. Stop Googling. Is it Chris Wokes? It is Chris Wokes. Congratulations for one point. Yes. That's, That's a bonus point. question. It's, a, it's, it's all tied. And we have a bonus There's question. A bonus he question. can win it it's on the hard. bonus. This could be like he a buzzer it. beater. I, I know if it's, the, okay. if it's the former player, I know who it is actually. <laughs> Okay, the bonus question is The last time England won the Ashes in Australia Was 2010-2011 Which England player on that tour Was a huge Aston Villa fan? Boy, you're fucked Because I was actually lying I have no idea We're going to a tiebreaker I'm just going to guess Sasha Tendulkar I, Oh wait, Harpajan <laughs> Singh Because he was a pommy Even though he doesn't right. follow Villa So I'm just going to go with that So, you, yeah, well, that's it incorrect it was, it was Ian Bell so we have a tie. That's um, who I was thinking of for the first answer. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. That's huge. Um, Bullshit. Fuck. Why am I looking at that question? Fuck. Yeah, no, is absolutely raging. Well. He's not sleeping tonight. I'm not sleeping, sleeping anyway. Man. anyway. He's got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sweats. It's okay. bad. It's bad. By the way, if they both got a tiebreaker wrong. Okay, time. so <laughs> this is the how, tiebreaker. How does this, this work? Made, uh, this is this is a closest two, like we do with for the start question. Oh god. Right? I'm fucked. Go on then. Yeah. So the question Who goes was first? the Troy will go first because eight, he eight was the beauty. he was the first in line in the questions. Well, I don't want to go. So if I'm first in line, I should dictate whether I go first or second. I no, don't that's just it, no. It's fair. You, no, you, you just get to set the line. That's fair. Well, that's fair. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I'll right. go that. Okay, Tommy, yeah, you're fair. first. And the question is, what was the attendance last night at Villa Park Ooh. for Aston Villa versus Chelsea? What's Close, closest, there closest were a lot wins. of empty seats there last night. There, there were, were a few a empty seats. So no, I want Troy to go first. I don't want to go no, first. No, I'm lucky. Rules, Scott. No, that's, that's <laughs> lucky, brother. Look, uh, thirty-two thousand five hundred. <laughs> thirty-two thousand five hundred for Tommy. And what about you, Troy? No clue. 
think there was more than one person there. What did Tommy say? 32,500. I'll go 32,501. <laughs> Sorry, mate. And Troy is the winner because it was 39,358. That's why I didn't want to go first. Right? That's bullshit. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, man. It's come right down to the end. It's unfortunate way to lose it, but um, Why you change know, the rules last minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, to be honest, I wouldn't have actually thought to just add one. So that's a good, that's a good track tactic. Yeah, you can use that one next time. It's a dirty, yeah. it's a dirty tactic, but one. Also, really I did realize, I did realize. I was like, I was like, fuck. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's championship numbers. We're getting a bit more than that now. If, oh, I, you, if, you look, if I, if I had to go it. first, I would have said 40,000, so I would have won anyway. That bloody IX question killed me. What a one. Well, there we go, fellas. Um, another Imagine, great quiz. I won an absolute punt. I'd get into the cricket. <laughs> and um, the score is, the overall score is Noah's on one, Tommy's on one, oh, Troy's on two. <laughs> yes, he is. Well done. The guy that, when we brought up the idea for the quiz, was arguing and complaining about how shitty he was going to be, <laughs> is now in the lead. Yes, that's true. So yeah, the year is. And we'll be, we'll be back, I guess. New Year. New Year, yeah. Well, so when's the Brentford game? It's the second, is it? New, year, New Year's Day. Second for us. Yeah, second for us. Second for us. So that's, I'm burning, yeah. I'm burning, I'm burning my shirt. I'm oh, burning God. It. I'm burning I'm burning the winner of the competition gets Noah's pictures on his wall. Look, you yeah, guys can come back. You know, awesome, you, I, I, I did like some of the answers. You guys did quite well there. So it ended up 5-5-3. Five, five, um, uh, and, yeah, Troy is the winner. So thanks again for everyone for watching. We're going to wrap it up here. Thanks, guys, for all, you know, coming on again. And, you know, please try and uh, subscribe because I think – are we still on 99? Well, yeah, well, we need 99, one to go. Yeah. We, we had 98, to... and then my girlfriend's cousin, who does a, she reviews books on YouTube, and she's got about 150 followers. So I said, I'll follow your page if you follow ours. So, oh. yeah, thanks, Brianna. But, nice. um, yeah, we're one short of, of triple digits. Might yeah, let's do it. Account, to be honest. Let's get us to 100, just like uh, Chris Wokes that uh, got Tommy to the... <laughs> yeah, he, got me, he got me in the final. Actually, no England players final. are getting 100, so the, we can we <laughs> don't talk about that. The Ashes, if you're a fan of England, he's not going well. But um, Say goodbye, are... Noah. It could be your last podcast ever. Yeah, that's oh, it. Um, <laughs> no, but um, on a serious <laughs> note, I hope, I hope you're feeling better, Noah. I hope the Thank COVID you. doesn't keep you down too long and you Hopefully can bounce not. back. Um, and thanks for everyone for watching and we will see you again next week. Catch you later. Happy New Year, boys and girls. Happy New Year.